You know, Lieutenant Fabian Pacheco, everyone joining us, answering your questions, his men and women working literally around the clock trying to find this little girl. Lieutenant, a lot of people are reporting that you have scaled back the search, but in my analysis, it's going from fact finding to fact analysis. Please respond to reporters stating you're scaling back, that you're losing interest in the search for ESA. That is absolutely not true to my understanding. That is absolutely not true, uh, not at all. We are not losing one bit of interest in this case. Uh, what happens is uh, in the surrounding area you uh, tend to see fewer uniformed officers or detectives going door to door or, or doing the, the canvas, so to speak, that we completed uh, from the early stages of this investigation. Uh, we conducted four complete canvases of this area in a three mile wide radius. We went back uh, several times and we continue to do that to this day. Now, you indicated pouring over this information. This is where we're at in an investigative phase. All these lead sheets that we developed over the past six days, we have analysts, we have detectives uh, that are working out of our substation pouring over that eight-page document to make sure that there's no detail within that uh, eight-page uh, questionnaire that we're overlooking. We're trying to be as thorough and comprehensive as we possibly can. Uh, we still have people going to certain areas where perhaps we haven't reached that comfort level uh, in saying that, okay, are we absolutely sure that we checked everything, the washes, uh, certain alleys, other areas. It's more of a specific search uh, with respect to that. Now, our detectives are back at the office. They're going through uh, uh, these lead sheets, as I indicated. And again, that core group of detectives are working closely with our FBI counterparts. And uh, that leads me... Uh, before I forget to thank those uh, federal law enforcement agencies that are helping us out here as well as the state, uh, county and other local agencies. It's been a tremendous and phenomenal support not just from a law enforcement point of view but from the community. People wanting to ask how can we pitch in? How can we help? Can I we agree. join the search? And, Lieutenant uh, Fabian yeah, Pacheco absolutely. is with so, us. Lieutenant, a couple of questions and I, I, I think I know what your answer is going to be. Have any polygraphs been administered well, uh, again, we are a pretty large agency with a, a lot of resources. So in these types of investigations, those are kind of standard practice without uh, telling you one way or another uh, to not uh, hurt the investigation. I can assure you that we've done uh, everything possible up to this point. And again, that's part of the thing, uh, okay, that's part Lieutenant of the reason Fabian that the Behavioral Pacheco? Analysis Unit is here. I, I'm, I'm... Yes. I hear what you're saying uh, as a former law enforcement. If you've done everything you can, my analysis, I don't expect you to comment, is that you have given a polygraph to every single person that would agree to be strapped up.